Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I'm going around and feeding all my lizards and my inverts. We're going to start off with the wood lights. Now these are tropical grey wood lights and if you've ever seen my natural tank builds for the Crested Gecko and the Chihua, you know that I use these as cleanup crew but I kept some aside and they have just been breeding and breeding so it's like a separate colony. Anyway, as you can see they already have food in here any sort of dead leaves I either leave in the tank or I give a few to them but I also give them custodian fuel by Arcadia so I'm going to pop some of them in they usually go crazy for these so all the geckos are probably going to get something slightly different I'm going to give Diego some mealworms you can also give them some of the cocoons um obviously these guys turn into beetles pretty quick so don't worry about that they can eat that i usually aim for like 10 to 15 mealworms i'll be honest i haven't actually counted these out yet what i'm dusting them in is uh earth pro a by arcadia which is um an all natural vitamin supplement that you do need to use uh, a uvb light with Diego! Diego! Because I think they're all going into like brumation now, you'll probably find him in the cold hide. Hey boy! Hey! I got some food for you! Okay, now for Minnie, so she can be quite secretive, especially when this light is on, so she might not come out to eat. That is the difficulty with feeding these geckos and trying to film it, so of course, if it helps, I will turn off the light and just feed it off camera. I thought I'd quickly update you though, um, this piece of wood that used to be here in the natural tank had to be taken out. It grew mould really quickly, and I think maybe there was a bit too, humidity, too much humidity when this first all went in, obviously there's a bit with the dirt and all of that but I'm gonna fix that and hopefully we can move it back in but yeah at the moment Minnie is in her cold hide and she isn't budging but what I would have been feeding her if you would have seen it on camera is uh crickets once again everything is dusted in earth pro a back to mealworms for a sec so this gecko I don't know if you can tell whose tank this is but this particular gecko hasn't really wanted crickets lately it seems she's only going for worms so i think i can see a little leg down there zig is hello do you want some more worms <laughs> I was going to offer the Chihua food, but I'm pretty sure he is in his plant at the back, which I can't actually reach into. And when I felt a little bit of him, it felt like he was shedding his skin, so I don't want to stress him out. I'm going to just leave him be, and obviously he's got food in here anyway, other food if he wants it. So if you saw the FAQ Friday about uh, crested geckos eating insects, I did say I wanted to try more insects with Lyra, because she's not as interested as she was when she was younger. I just love her little face, she's just so confused. Would you like to come on my hand? Okay. We go back hat yeah, okay. Sometimes you'll see they go up to it and they're like, oh what's this? And then they'll sniff it and they're like, oh Oh no, oh oh no, she wants that. Just to say, I do usually just throw them in, like, especially in these tanks where I know Gizmo and Diego, for example, will catch them. But just for video purposes, and, you know, I just, I'll quickly show you how I hand feed them. But I do recommend just letting them chase it because that is entertainment for them. A lot of people say, what can I do? I don't want my gecko to get bored. I'd say get them out, let them explore, like, climb on you and everything. But also, hunting is such a massive part of just keeping them mentally active so I definitely encourage that 
So obviously I'm going to, once I turn off this camera, I'm going to throw in the rest of the crickets. Um, and she can have them, but let's just try her with one more whilst, whilst we are here. Oh, sorry, guess my... Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh dear, go away. And then we have the ants. So they're actually doing quite well. They're still very active. I haven't seen them as a whole for a while because, like, they have been here. I've just spilt seeds everywhere and I've just knocked them. But anyway, the workers that I do see, they're always still active. The queen is in the back there. She is still dead, obviously. I just filled up the seed bowl. I need to add some more honey onto that. As you can see, that's where the honey goes. And all of these little bits, they're not mould or anything. They're literally like where they've pulled the cotton wool out. It's got a few dead bits of cricket around, so I will have to add in a fresh cricket. But other than that, they are doing well. I don't know when I'll do another update, really, because when I do the ant updates, I do kind of feel like I'm just constantly criticised. If When I said I was like kind of sad about the queen dying, you get people saying, well, it's just a it's just an insect get over it if i didn't show any emotion about a queen people are like oh you clearly didn't care you know you really you, you can't do anything right um there's a harvester ant just leaving i i'm pretty sure these bite but at the same time i don't want you to escape so you know risking my life here okay no, no you're going the wrong way may 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 <laughs> could you please just like i appreciate the little hand hug but could you go back in but yeah basically I find them very interesting but sharing the footage can be difficult because there's so many people who just love to criticize and in a way that they're quite patronizing they don't really help a situation they just love to be like ha 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 you did that wrong uh, for example I currently have a harvester ant on my hand and I'm sure that will be wrong anyway um so I don't know when I'm going to do an update on them um there it is um, but for now, you know, you can check them out here. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, remember you can click the subscribe button. Wait, that doesn't make sense. If you haven't enjoyed this video already, subscribe. That makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already and you'd like to, of course you can. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I need to get this one back. But thank you and goodbye.